look at their little jackets. Yeah, where's my jacket? What was it again? Pookie Bookie? Oh my gosh. Muko Suko? Are you kidding me right now? Saki Baki. No. I don't remember. Hello everyone and welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Taya and this is Papagayu, my Jungle Core Island, soon to be deleted Jungle Core Island. I have with me here today, my husband, Lycan. If you did not see the first video of us discussing the theme for this island and what we're gonna do with it, then head over and check that video out first, then come back here and watch this one. We're here together to start the island process. Super exciting because it's like its first ever Animal Crossing Island. I'm getting excited. Yeah. It's watching someone play a game and actually playing it, it's completely different, just like anything. I'm ready. So, this is goodbye, Papagayu. Bye. Why do I feel sad? It's a little sad getting rid of an island. Data management, delete <gasps> save data. Do Did you just do it? No. Delete all save data for this software. Are you sure? Yes. It's gone. That was easy. Now we're gonna start a new island. So now when you open this, it's literally gonna be like the way you bought it, just empty? Yeah. Whoa. Let us be the first to congratulate you on your wise decision to sign up for this adventure. Welcome to the check-in counter for your deserted island getaway package. So I'm gonna set up mine first and then we'll choose the island together and then we'll set up yours. So I am going to call myself Taya, like I always do. And I might have to do this a couple times if we don't get the right map that we want. Hopefully we get a good map on the first try, but how often does that happen? My birthday is March 18th. I almost said 13th. It's coming up. <laughs> it is coming up, I'm excited. So now you have to like get your character set up. Oh my gosh, that's cute. Your character set up, right? Yeah. So I have to get my character all set up. I actually normally do go with this haircut. What? No, it's just a really funny haircut on the bottom, right? Oh, on the bottom. Um, oh yeah, this one? Yeah, that's funny. It is funny, it's cute. These are just the base haircuts too. Like once you get into the game, there's like so many more haircuts Whoa, to choose. Oh, there's so many eyes. I know, these are always the eyes that I choose. Mm -hmm. And I always choose this <laughs> nose. Oh my gosh. This one? Yeah, that is hilarious. <laughs> and I always go with uh, pink blushes. And that's my character. I like the outfit. I hope we get good maps. Or if you could have like, I don't know, a grimacing mouth or like oh. braces. Or... Braces? That's not really Like emotion, if you had but... the little tooth and you had bra uh, just braces on that little tooth. <laughs> Well, you can get reactions. You learn them from the villagers. So this is where the rubber meets the road. These are our map options that we have. What are you, what are we looking for? Okay. We are looking <laughs> for a map that has dual south river mouths, an airport that is slightly off to the left, a resident services that has enough distance from the airport, but is slightly away from the airport so that you can still build between them and is more central. And I think the one that we're on is pretty good. Is that the airport, the green leaf? That's the resident services. Where's the airport? Uh, that black, that kind of gray box at the bottom. This? Yeah. Oh, that is perfect. That's literally what you described. Exactly. What? I know. What are the chances? That's hilarious. It's very rare that you would actually get that on like the first. Okay. So we'll see how it looks because it's not really centered. Resident services is really off to the, it's slightly more to the right to see on the map. So I don't know if it's exactly perfect. Where would you, per where would you want it? Just over like a few spots, but I think that's being maybe a bit too picky. Oh, because you want it to be more symmetrical, like yeah. even, even space, so it's not all on the my side. I'd rather have it on my side, that's fine. It's like the lottery, right? Yes. What are the chances you would get that exact same option, but with resident services? Like, like a couple spaces? Yeah, to the left. Pretty rare. It would maybe take a long time to get there. Probably like hundreds of tries, right? Well, I don't know about hundreds, but yeah, probably possibly, a lot. Possibly? Yeah, possibly. So yeah, let's just... Let's see how it looks. I can't believe on the first one we found an island that's like decent. That never happens. Sometimes it I happens, thought this was going to take forever, rare. this part. I know. I was like, I was even thinking, I should bring reading material. Hey! <laughs> <laughs> so I could just like read while this is happening or something. The chartered flight for Nook Inc's deserted island getaway package is ready for boarding. 
Any customers waiting to board should make their way to the gate at this time. Now, we can't hear the audio, but if you could, imagine beautiful audio over top of this nostalgic. The fly ruined it. I was actually getting myself like relaxed, and then I saw that disgusting moth fly. <laughs> Why are there bugs here? Because you oh. can catch bugs. Ah, they're so gross. I know, bugs are gross. They don't even... You're going to get along with blathers. <laughs> wow, that's beautiful. Oh my gosh, imagine being there right now. I know. Oh, I feel like I can breathe. I think so this game is going to be good for you. So, when it opens, we're going to see what airport color we have, which I don't care what airport color we have, and what starter villagers we have, because you can't choose them. Oh, we got oranges! Yes! I'm feeling pretty lucky. If we got coach, unfortunately, we'll have to start again. But anybody else, I'm fine with. Almost. We'll see. We'll see who we got. Why are oranges good? I just like them. Oh, you just like them? Yeah. <gasps> we got Frida. That's Frida? Yeah, we got the hamburger sheep. And an orange airport. Okay. Have I ever had an orange airport before? Yeah, we had one on Papagayu. An orange it's airport. A friendly color. So I'm gonna just talk to Frida. We can chat later. I wanna see where this is going. And this is the uh, jock villager that we got, Lyman. He's a koala. He's not a jock. A lot of the jocks don't really seem like jocks, but look at them run. He doesn't even run like a jock. <laughs> you call that running? Okay, so this is how close the resident services is to the airport. Lots of room for a nice entrance. Lots of room for like a shopping district over here. Still in front of resident services, you know? It's a lot of space when it's all empty. It's kind of over overwhelming. Oh, but once you put down buildings, the space gets small pretty quick. So this is the distance from this right-hand river. Let's just try to like imagine how even this is. So oh. you run into resident services pretty quick on this side. And then you go over here. I was trying to count the amount of steps you took. <laughs> lost count. So yeah, there is a little bit more room on the left-hand side, but maybe it's okay. I mean... We'll get a map in a second and then we can really look at it closer. Yeah. Is Frida here? How about Lyman? I'm not a fan of Lyman. We're all here. I'll turn it over to you, Mr. Nook. Our three adventurers are ready to get started. Welcome everyone, welcome to your new island. My name is Tom Nook and I'm the founder and president of Nook Inc. Yes, yes. Is it just me or do you have a hard time trusting Tom Nook? I look at him like a banker. He, yeah, pretty much is. So they're going to get their own plots and I'm gonna get my house plot and we'll put them all down. I'm gonna put Lyman over on your side because he's a boy. You're gonna be in charge of the boys for the most part. I don't, honestly, I, I don't think I'm gonna be the kind of person that like interacts with their villagers very much. Me thinking about how I'm gonna answer that and being slightly offended and ultimately realizing that everybody has the right to play the game exactly the way that they wanna play and I can't judge that. That's fine. That's fine. I think I'm more of like, get my job done, make everything look nice, give it, make it a nice place for them to enjoy. Yeah. stay out of my way. You know? Oh. I got work to do. I had my coffee. I feel super energetic. <laughs> Let me get this job done. You got your own job to do. Okay. Done. Oh, I won't have that much space. Maybe I'll put Frida on the beach because I like to design my house pretty early on. I find it really fun. So I'm going to put my tent actually over here on the land. Yeah, actually this is good. I'm just going to go with it because we're gonna have to get lichen on here too. So I'm just gonna hustle through this first part. Yeah, I was wondering about that. Well, I think you can be in on the first day. I'm just gonna get Frida's plot and Lyman's plot so we can move forward to the next, like to the next part of this. We'll do the island naming and then we can get you on here. Frida, I've actually always loved Frida. What do you like about her? I just think she's funny. Her personality? No, it's her look. Like, look at her. Oh. She's a hot dog. Like she has a hot dog outfit on and it's like her hair is fries and her name is Frita. She's a hot dog hamburger sheep with fries. I don't know, I just find her hilarious. I don't know why I like her. Yes, this is the spot. She'll have her own little beachfront. Okay, so then I'll talk to Lyman cause you're not putting oh your house gosh. right here. What's that? I just got a flashback. 
We've done this before. Remember when you first got the game? We did this. Did we do it together? No, we didn't do it together, but like, I remember uh, you created the island and then you got my account ready. Oh, yeah. And then I like played for like five oh, minutes. Oh, <laughs> right. You put your house down on the beach. <laughs> And then I never played again, and I think you just like... So I went back and I looked at how many hours. You actually played it for five hours. Really? Yeah. I honestly have no recollection of what I did. I think I fished, maybe. Oh, oh, you left items for me, and I think that's what I was doing. I think I was like... Sorting placing, them? Yeah, sorting items. I was doing a lot of fishing, actually, now that I remember. Fishing and like trying to catch bugs, I think, and then like just leaving them in a pile for you. But this one, you're going to do your own thing. You don't leave anything in a pile for me. So where would you like Lyman's house to go? Oh, you can see the little map now. Oh, perfect. So you can see how off-centered resident services. It's not really that off-centered. Okay, then uh, that's fine. You can mirror what you did. Okay, I'll put him a little bit closer to the airport then, like mm -hmm. right over here. Lip. I actually like him on the beach because I don't think I'll be building on the beach until like maybe the end. It'll be like an afterthought. Looks like everyone has a spot picked out for their tents now. I need to get back to the plaza. This is one of my favorite little things. Look at how my character, once I press A, is gonna look off towards the plaza and it like fades out. It's hilarious. Okay. <laughs> I don't know why I love that. I'm like, how do you remember that? I don't know. I've done it so many times now. <laughs> this will be the fifth island that I've started. Oh, wow. Yeah. That many. Yeah. That was my third dream address that I've released. And wow. I'm working on island number four, and this is island number five. Welcome back, everyone. I hope you all found just the right spots to set up your new homes. And with that taken care of, we can move on to more serious business, like throwing an island warming party. And we'll have it right here in the plaza with a roaring campfire. Since we'll all be living here together, Taya will do all the work and we'll just stand here doing nothing. Timmy, Frida, Tommy, and Lyman can set up things here in the plaza, which means they're just gonna sweep. That's how it goes. It's like in elementary school or in grade school when you were partnered with somebody for a science project <laughs> and then one of them had to do all the work and the other one just showed up. Wait. I'm not gonna say which one I was. <gasps> So I need to collect a bunch of oranges. I know that he's gonna ask for oranges, so I'm preemptively picking up oranges. And I also need to pick up tree branches. What was that? Oh, he's just creepy. He is. <laughs> the koala? Like that is terrifying. He's gonna go. Honestly? He's the first one out. Like, wow. We got tulips as our starting flower. I think hyacinths are my favorite flowers. Okay. What are you smiling about? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, this isn't her first rodeo, Tom Nook. <laughs> of course she got you more than you expected. <laughs> and speaking of surviving on a desolate island, our next task is to round up something to snack on. I'll go ahead and take those off your hands and we'll get started on the preparations. Is that everything? Yes, yes, I believe it is. Let's get started with the festivities. Light her up. That is huge. It's gigantic. At last, allow me to properly welcome you to your new island. I have participated in many ventures and endeavors over the years, but this may be the most exciting. No, it's not gonna work. Never mind. <laughs> Look at his face though. He's so like, he's so Oh my exciting. gosh, why is he angry? He's just like- No, he was angry. Okay. Helping develop a thriving new community entirely from scratch will truly test my business acumen and perhaps my skills as an outdoorsman. Ho ho! Yeah, he does look angry. Also, he's not an outdoorsman. He gets everyone else like you to do the work. <laughs> okay, that's not an outdoorsman. You're a leech. Oh gosh. I suppose we can't call this a deserted island anymore, hmm? But what should we call it? What was it again? Pookie bookie? Oh my gosh. Oh wait, it was, oh okay, actually, I'm gonna try to remember. Don't look at the screen then, because I'm already typing it. Muko Suko? Are you kidding me right now? Saki. Baki. No. I don't remember. You don't remember at all? Wow, wow, Sabi. Yes. I think that's how you spell it. Typically, I don't think that the second S is capitalized, but I think I'd like the second S to be capitalized, right? Yeah, why not? And since I have the left side of the island, my half will be called Wabi, and Lycan's side will be called Sabi. And that's really funny, actually, that we're sitting left and right. But normally when we make coffee, my coffee is on the left and yours is on the right, too. Why is this? I don't know, it's just the way we do. Wabi sabi. All right, is everyone ready? Let's try saying our ideas all at the same time. 
Ready? Go! Wabi Sabi, Hassan Beach, Nookets, Swoleville. So Teo suggested Wabi Sabi. Everybody's clapping. I suppose if everyone is in agreement, we could just go with Wabi Sabi. Yeah, splendid. Then from now on, this island will be known as Wabi Sabi. Yes, yes, I hereby name you the resident representative of Wabi Sabi. Congratulations. Thank you. A toast to Wabi Sabi and the happiness of its residents. Cheers. This is always a freaky angle for me when he's like behind the campfire like this. I like your haircut. Thank you. It's almost time for you to play. Oh, I'm gonna get stung by a mosquito. Get away from me. You see it? No. There. That happens? Yeah, you get stung by a mosquito. I just realized that we started this in summer and I didn't mean to start it in summer. I meant to start it in real time. Oh, shoot. Can you yeah, change it? I can. That's fine. Time traveling. Look at this, it's my cute little tent. And I have two little things. Oh, pink radio, perfect. No, it's not bad. This is how I always set it up. I don't know why I'm so specific. And I'll turn the radio on too. And now it's time for me to go to sleep and dream of a creepy naked dog. Naked dog? A naked dog. KK Slider. Oh, the yeah, the one that plays guitar, right? Yeah, why does he not have clothes? Okay, so now Tom Nook is outside my tent waiting for me. And once I get this stuff from him, then I'll close out and you can have your moment. Okay. Ah, there you are. I hope you had a pleasant nap. So then he gives me my phone. I do have one more major thing for you, however. It's your itemized bill. Yeah. My new life is underway. I can do whatever I want. Woohoo! Now that I've completed my portion, we're going to go ahead. This is the first lesson of your Animal Crossing journey. Okay, time travel. How to time travel. I bestow upon the the Joy-Cons. They might be a little bit warm. Actually, they're freezing cold. What? Are you okay? <laughs> so look at you're gonna get the whole experience now. You're gonna set up your character and then you'll be joining. Wait, do I have to listen to everything again? If you hold down the right trigger while they're talking, then it'll speeds through the talking and you can just press A. So you don't have to press B. You can just press A and read a little, just read quickly over what they're saying, because... I've already read it when you... Yeah, okay. Uh, yes, it is. I guess I should read some <laughs> of it. This is my biggest challenge now, that Lycan is starting. I can't micromanage him. He's going to experience it fully as if he was playing a game from the very start. I'm going to try to be as not micromanaging as possible. Because otherwise, it's no fun. Exactly. For the person being micromanaged. Exactly. That's a lesson for real life, too. It is. December 30th. It is. How much to choose from? No. But you can change it later, too. Just click A to, like, test them out and see if you like any. <sighs> oh my god, these are awful. <laughs> these are so bad. Oh my gosh. You wow. can change the color, too, right? Like, at the down the bottom there, you can see the uh -huh. different colors. Yeah, that it looks like you. The hair. Well, it doesn't look like you, but you know what I mean? Gosh, this person looks like he has no brain. <laughs> hmm. Yeah, wide-eyed. Oh, that's cute, too. Yeah. I'll go with that. I like the square. Yeah, I, I was cute. just thinking, like, the square nose suits you. And this is just cheek blushies if you want to have cheek blushies. Conform. Looks all right. Look good. Take me there. Yeah, vacation, baby. Yeah. Woohoo! Hope I don't have to do any work when I get there. I don't think you do. I think you just have to place down your tent and then you're good to go. We got snow and a lot of weeds. Oh, look at their little jackets. Yeah, where's my jacket? <laughs> also, the airline food was horrible. <laughs> now, like in. As to the matter of where you'll rest your sleepy head at night, there, a little comfort item for you. It would be so funny if I was like, I had no clue what that was, and I literally took that to rest my head on. You just set it down on the ground. <laughs> yeah, and I just like literally used that as a pillow. Take a look around and set up your tent wherever you like. There's something else you'll need as well. Oh, you're just gonna get everything right up front. You got your phone. Hey, Lycan, you don't have any money at all. <laughs> oh no, no bells like it? It's crazy. Honestly, so many customers arrive here without two bells to rub together. So collecting miles, you collect miles by doing things around the island. And there's a whole app 
on the phone. Like catching bugs, fishing, smacking rocks, hitting trees, crafting things, everything basically will help you to get miles. Okay. It's very simple to get miles. That's just the first loan. The first loan you can pay it in miles and then the next loans after that you pay with Bell. So now you have everything and you just need to place down your tent and you're good to go. So where are you gonna put your tent? You're playing now. Mm. <laughs> Can't forget to pick up those little branches, huh? <laughs> you press, yeah. I won't even say anything oh, actually. I'm not gonna say anything. Aha. Uh-huh. Uh-huh, because I know I'm going to need some of these. So where do I want to put my tent? I'm thinking uh, high ground. This is so cute. Oh my gosh. You're doing it. I'm doing it. It's a snowball. You can make a snowman or you can Whoops. just plunk <laughs> it into the water. <laughs> <laughs> they look so cute. <laughs> I, yes, I think I know where I want to put it. Oh no, but I can't cross the river. No, you can't cross the river yet. Yeah, my options are limited. I can always plant a tree. Yeah. You know what? I'm doing it. Mm-hmm. Okay. So now you can go inside your tent, because I think your sleeping cot will already be there. Yeah, your sleeping cot is already there. Oh, we got the same colors. It's smart to move your cot in the middle, right? I, think. I don't know. I think it's just fun. Well, you know why? At least if you're in the middle, you have a chance of... Wait, what? It's a turn, you know? Ooh. But like, in the middle, even away from Oh, that. in the middle, completely. Because then you're safe, right? <laughs> okay. Beautiful. Now we have the island set up. We're both set up on the island. And we're ready to start working on it. That wasn't too bad. No. Now you can play, do whatever you want. I don't even know where to start. A good thing to do is if you don't know what to do, go and talk to Tom Nook in resident services. That sounds like a plan. Hey, little guy. <laughs> I like it. It's great Aww. to see you. Isn't he cute? Nice to see you too. I didn't. <laughs> I just pressed A. I didn't even read it. Nice to see you too. And I'm just going to fly through your dialogue now. <laughs> I was just so excited about him being so sweet. Yeah. <laughs> We're so cute. That was hilarious. Oh my gosh. Okay, so let's sit on this bench together. Our island Wabi Sabi has been started. Here we are on a little bench together. We look super cute. Yeah. So the first thing that we have to do is get eight villagers onto the island. Put down anything that you buy, put it down on the ground because that'll help us get to three stars and then we can start terraforming and laying down paths and stuff. Okay. So we got tasks. Yeah. Not that Lycan will be here on every video. We probably will be a little while till you see him again, but we'll check in with him every once in a while to see how progress on the Sabi side of Wabi Sabi is going. But until then, thank you Lycan for being here. You're welcome anytime. I'll hold you to it. <laughs> Thank you so much everybody for watching today and we'll see you all in the next one. Bye everybody. Bye.